I'm Zrutesha Smarlovic. Uh, welcome um, to my channel. <clears throat> For the new ones, my name is Martin um, um, Lukleviant. And for my OGs, welcome back. Now, as you can see by the title of this video, we're going to be doing another how do men see or view you. Now, since this is a collective reading, I might be channeling about your colleagues, family, your crush, features spouse, twin flame, soulmates, friends. So, yeah, there's going to be a huge variety. So, you just need to use your intuition and your heart and to pick those parts of the information which um, resonate with you and um, discard the rest. No. Um, also, this is Martin from the future. I forgot to say that I'm also channeling for four homosexuals and heterosexual couples. And if you would like me to do a separate video about how um, how women view you, please write me down below in the like in the uh, comment section. Okay, thank you. Now. Um, throughout the reading, um, the zodiacal signs which are going to come out can be your Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus sign or another person. Also, numbers can be your life path, if I forgot to say, the date of a month when, um, when you were born, um, a month. Also, the last digit of somebody's like phone number, home address, street address, your lucky number, you get me and your numbers. Now, um... Yeah, before we move to the um, pick up powers, as we see, we have two lovely pals. <coughs> I just have something like I would, um, I would kindly ask you to please give me a like and watch this video for more than um, 10 seconds because this is really going to help with the um, algorithm. Um, because we are on the road to um, 1k subscribers, so uh, uh, so uh, thank you very much, especially those of you who are. Um, who have been my clients, who are helping and commenting. And um, so, yeah, this was the easiest and most um, um, convenient way to help me. And if you would like to further give me a hint, you can also leave down a comment, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and also click on that notification bell switch. And every time I post a new video, you're going to be notified. Okay, now that being said, um, for those of you who are already acquainted with me and my services, you're down below you're going to find your usual um, time markers to jump right into the um, pick up pile and then your selected piles. And for the newcomers, down below, also in the description box, you're going to find more valuable information about the decks which I'll be using today, tarot and oracle wise. Uh, my other social platforms, how to um, titan, um, um, how to tip me, I'll be very much thankful and obliged. Also, um, uh, yeah, how to do a pick up card if this is your first time, my email address if you'd like to book a personal um, reading with me, or do a tarot cooperation video. Also, I am not sure recording my, my reading, my reading, so yeah, you have been, um, yeah, I said it so. Now to this um, lovely tree pals you can choose from. Just give me one moment to... Now, let me just see. Okay, we have pal number one. Let me just see. I'm going to push them a bit further because of camera. We have pal number one, two and three. Pal number one is with the everyday witch there with this um, unfaceted um, rose quartz crystal. Oh yeah, because I am recording during the daylight, it's more amazing. Um, the runic tarot with this um, sodalite stone. No, a sugalite, sodalite, a um, sugalite stone. And pile number three is with the ethereal illusions tarot. And with this, I think this was a strawberry quartz, I'm not so sure. I forgot the name. Let's say that this is a strawberry quartz. So take your time. It's absolutely fine to choose all three piles if you feel that um, the messages resonate. But if they do not um, resonate, maybe the time hasn't come for you to receive those messages. But in several days, weeks, or months, you might be, you might be you might be guided back because my readings are usually timeless. Okay, now that being said, and without any further ado. Let's start with pound number one. 
Um, salutations for those who have chosen pound number one. This is your reading. Now, those are your oracle cards. <coughs> I forgot to say in the intro. I have appreciated for them. I haven't seen them. We are going to see them later. And here we, you have your Amastro dice, which I am going to roll. Uh, yeah. So, how do men view pound number one? First house, Sagittarius and Jupiter. This is interesting. So you may be Sagittarius or born during um, December, or you may be Sagittarius in Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. Okay. I'm getting very optimistic, very... I'm hearing now, I've got to say, uh, um, for some of you, they may see you as a bit of a uh, um, scatterbrain. Now please, go on, now please don't get angry, this is what I'm channeling. But I'm also getting like the overall energy so far, it's quite positive. Oh, sorry. I don't know if you could, if you could, if you, if you could hear how I snapped my neck because, yeah. Um, they see somebody very like optimistic, with, with, with very intense drive. Now, you may drive a nice sports car, you may love driving, but with nice drive, I'm getting somebody easily to talk to. For some of them, I'm hearing them say that you may feel to them like quite religious, sophisticated, philosophical as well. There is so much more to learn from part from pile number one is what I'm hearing. And just like with Jupiter um, and with Sagittarius, you you give them like a sense of abundance, of prosperity, of um, a cornucopia type of an energy. And also you may love traveling and going to different places and this is what they also find attractive about you. Especially when they want to hear like your stories, maybe you visit another country, another continent, another culture. Hmm. I'm hearing vultures, so somebody's spirit animal or animal totem can be a vulture. No, I'm hearing Vratza vultures. They are a, they are a Quidditch team, like in Harry Potter universe, like um 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 with Vratza. It's a town in like it's a city in in Bulgaria, so somebody can be from Vratza, or you are going to. Um, um, to visit it, Amvratza, yeah. Also with the first house, hmm, yeah, dressing with different cultures, you may love also anime, K-pop, Korean influences, African, yeah, the way you present yourself, you dress, you give off like very intellectual, smart person they would like to be around. And especially with the rose quartz, this is the quartz of love, of beauty, of prosperity. So I wouldn't be surprised if Venus it's um, it's in your sun sign, like Venus, Lady Venus. She's so Venus. So yeah, hmm, with Venus. So they also find you quite attractive, quite alluring very sexy i'm hearing somebody saying now this may be offensive to some of you but i'm not saying this you know um to offend you i heard somebody might call you a um, sexy mom and i saw the image of johnny bravo you know how he called every um every sexy woman like he called them like all sexy mama no th yeah this was a very bad shuffling but okay four cards so please spirit Okay, this was fast. Thank you. How do men view pound number one? Okay, and we have the moon. Quite mystical, whimsical. <coughs> I'm hearing opulent, magical, mysterious. So mysterious, so so delirious. So the, I forgot the name of the song and the singer. So delirious. So it was from the 80s. You may be born during the you may be born during the 80s. You may love the 80s as an aesthetic and music. Now, since this we have the moon, 
I'm getting hopeless romantic, quite romantical. Now, regardless of your biological gender, male or female, since we have the, the moon, your divine feminine energy can be most significant. More nurturing, more into arts and crafts. Hmm. I'm getting with this card is so they may feel like at ease with you. Feeling quite comfortable. And we covered it already that they love to be in your company, especially with the rose quartz. I'm hearing attention seekers, but why? I heard that attention seekers, this can be significant as a movie, film, song, a book, but with this I got the image of men trying to fight for your for your attention, so you may have secret admirers, admirers, I wouldn't be surprised to tell you the truth, pal number one. Okay, hmm. the six of wands. No, brat, no, da, Irene. I got it, da, Irene. Da, Irene. Da, Irene. Okay, we have the Six of Wands, upright. Leo Sagittarius Aries. I'm going with the Sagittarius. They see you as a type of a winner as well. I'm hearing that the crowds love you, and I'm seeing a, a Princess Sissy, a Princess and Sissy, you know, the famous. Um, the the famous Austrian Empress during the 19th century. She had like a tragic death. Um, for those who have watched, there was such an, an animated cartoon on Fox Kids. Yeah, her name was Elizabeth. Elizabeth, the Kaiserin von Österreich und Ungarn. No, nine on the Königin von Ungarn. Ungarn. So some of you might be German, German speakers of German um, heritage. Nice, but yeah. People love you. Crowds love you. They love to be in your company. You may... Now, if you wear red, um, I'm getting that red red really suits you. Red and golden. Something about the golden dragon. You may be a dragon in the Chinese ear, as we are in the ear of the dragon. Also, the fire signs, I'm getting also somebody quite passionate, romantical, sex appeal. So, I don't know what you are, you are doing as a skincare, going to the gym, how you dress yourself, but I'm hearing that you leave men uh, astonished. I'm literally thinking, you know, how in the olden cartoons, when they were, when men were really like infatuated, fascinated by a, a woman, when a woman passed by, they their drops literally dropped on the ground and they were like howling or there was like drooling and dripples you get me now a pretty woman with julia roberts can be also quite significant i'm especially getting this scene when she was in the opera wearing that um spectacular dress like this spectacular ensemble Okay, two more cards, please, spirit. Okay. The two of swords. Hmm. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm getting that the crow can also be your spirit animal or totem or crows can give you messages. As you know, crows and birds in particular are messages of the gods. Yeah. Now, I'm getting two meanings with this card, so take whatever resonates. The first one is, like I told you, you may be a scatter brain, like flighty a bit. Whatever the wind blows, for forgetfulness as well. Forget-me-nots can be significant as a flower. Forget-me-not. Somebody could have been a knight in a past life. And a princess. I'm hearing Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair, so Rapunzel, okay. And the other meaning is that you leave men speechless, like should I contact her, should I talk to her or him? If I say her, this because I presume that many of you are going to be biological females and divine feminines. If you are a man, bless, you're, you're, you're welcome, just to know. 
So yeah, how to approach her, him, how to talk to him, her. Should I do that, should I not? I'm also getting that they are a bit intimidated with you, pound number one, because you give me the position of a woman in power, quite empowered, so I wouldn't be surprised if you like a CEO, a director, like being a leader. Yeah, full potential. I'm hearing from spirit that you never need that you're going to reach your full potential or you are reaching your full full potential. Okay, so this is why men can feel a bit like afraid of you. Because you know, the majority of men, especially the unhealed kind, with toxic energies who haven't ascended, cleaned, healed. They are afraid of a woman of power because a woman of power is going to steal away their crown or, you know. We have the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. They see us like very juvenile in a positive sense, like always out for uh, adventures. Your hair could be blonde, traveling the world, starting new projects like full of vitality for starting new, new projects. You bring that smell or feeling of money being well put in life okay we have blue red yellow and green so hogwarts can be significant microsoft world there is something about about flirts ship chivalry Corsages. Something about how to win your attention, how to talk to you. I'm hearing she's not like the other girls. So, or if you if you are a man, you he's not like the other man. So there is something quite significant about your energy ball number one. You definitely leave a mark. Now that song keeps playing in my head. Just give me one second, I'm going to find it. <sighs> At least to give you the name. So delirious. Ah, uh, yeah, but now, I don't know if, if you can see it, so serious by Electric Light Orchestra, so you can go and listen to it or Google it because otherwise YouTube is not going to be very happy if, if I play it to you. Now let's see with your Oracle cards, hmm. something about chess, playing chess, Sudoku, Sudoku? Like being like very smart, I'm getting Ru Ruina, Brevenquo vibes if you are a Potter fan. She was all about wisdom, wit, intelligence, cleverness. Hmm. Yeah, some of them are intimidated by you, but others feel attracted by you. Your demeanor, your whole character, how you dress yourself, how you appear. I'm hearing somebody saying she has really nice skin and really nice... Um, breast or bosoms if you know bosoms is a slang in british english about you know um your breasts i think i can say it yeah something about your fragrance you smell nice i'm so happy that i met you i'm so happy to be in your personal space pound number one is gorgeous should i give them them a call I should give them a call. Okay. We birth with number 16, so life path number 7. 16, the 16th date of a month. July, and we are going to enter July soon. Hmm. Rebirth. Now, pound number 1, if you have given birth, 
already they find this quite sexy and attractive about you. Otherwise, I'm hitting squeaky clean, so clean. Like, you know that saying when when you take a shower, especially if you have been like sweating, um, working all day, and when you take a shower, you like so squeaky clean, you're literally like a new person. This is what they also see as a rebirth. Okay, I'm getting the birth of Venus of Venus by Michelangelo Michelangelo no sorry uh, Botticelli oh, but okay Michelangelo can be important I think it was Botticelli please excuse me bird of yeah by Sandro Botticelli Nascita La nascita di Venere, and we have Venus, okay. First chakra, Archangel Michael with 35, okay, somebody can be in there 35 or 16. You may be working with Archangel Michael, now you can be born during a Tuesday. This is what I saw when I was searching for... Uh, which was this Archangel? The Archangel of Saturn, who rules Saturday. So... In the in in Judaism, every day was assigned to a certain archangel. Tuesday was assigned to Archangel Michael and the planet Mars, so the god Mars. And funnily, this is a little interesting fact about me. I was born on Tuesday, and also my name is Martin, which comes from the Roman god Mars. And Archangel Michael has been helping me a lot, guiding me. I love him; he's amazing. So. Yeah, the root chakra. So singular, somebody like very grounded, very stable, money-wise as well. Somebody who can they rely on. I'm also hearing somebody ex extremely loyal to their friends. I'm in debt to you, like, and I'm getting honesty with Applejack from a Little Pony and and Rainbow Dash. So honesty and loyalty can also be parts of your. A few. And again we have red, red, red. I'm hitting red strings attached or no strings attached. So if somebody is trying to take a possession of you to control you, it's not going to work because I'm getting that you can physically fend off. You will have like physical help and also you are energetically and spiritually protected. Lovely. Okay, segment and 35. Okay, another 35, Sekhmet. Change and healing, yeah. So you like changing and healing. Also Sekhmet rules August, which is also my month. So I wouldn't be surprised if you are always also Leo's and you can check out 3535, this um, angel or twin flame number. Yeah, again with this empowered woman, so you may be into Reiki healing, your energy is quite healing. Also, your whole existence and energy, it's not necessary to do something, you may be pushing people. Especially men to take a certain action, to be more decisive, to start something, to maybe get in touch with their divine feminine energy, the code like tarot, witchcraft practices. And to believe in themselves, in their luck. And this is why they also love to be in your company. like. When they are in your energy, they feel like powerful, not stressed, full of energies and yeah. Okay, Zilin Gefate, so a soulmate, so you can be, some of those men can be your soulmate or they can see you as a soulmate. Yeah, this is Dein Zilin Gefate, yeah, yes, this is your soulmate. So some of them, they see you as their like soulmate. Yeah, there is a lot of attraction. I'm hearing beeswax. And bees are about spirituality, a spiritual awakening. They also feel very sexually attracted to you. They feel this passion. 
but I'm getting with this passion it's not something you know to be um, dissed away it's not one night stand now unless you both want this but I'm think I'm seeing the four of wands building creating they want to create something with you like if they're going to interact with you they would like to or start a relationship with you or to be with you sexually not only to be for one night stand but to be more uh, what was the word more continuous more stable more involved and to invest more in you she's not a girl i can easily say goodbye to or or the bloke like yeah she touched my heart i am not so sure maybe there is such a song but it's what i heard from spirit she touched my heart studio so definitely touch men's hearts even if you just like smile be polite with them you give them a wink or a smirk or you just um show them that you appreciate them that you have noticed them let's say this really makes their day okay i'm going to drink some more water Will you be my soulmate? So again with this German, so German you also may be studying German or being a, a student in Germany, Switzerland, Liechtenstein or Austria, Österreich. They also see you as an angel. So you may be from the angelic realms, like your son's origin, a human angel, an, an, an earth angel. Yeah, again with this blonde, white hair also for those of you who are bleaching your hairs. Yeah, when they are like next to you and in your company, they feel like this angel presence. Okay, let's see. Beloved, oh, I love this card. It's so perfect. And we have butterflies. Beloved, prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning in your relationship. Believe you are lovable. So for some of you, this is your sign that your soulmate is returning your partner. Also, yeah, with these unicorns and the butterflies. I love those colors. It's giving me like hope. Something is coming for you it's blossoming i heard a woman in power but with the woman in power somebody who wants to settle in to be in a relationship you know to marry now i'm getting this song it was from the 50s by hollywood Harry or Harry Ronald Dick Harry who wants to marry on the on the why quite contrary oh Harry Gary or Dick or Harry Tom or Dick you can go and listen to this song or see the film but just give me one second please Yeah, Tom, Dick or Harry by Ann Miller. Could be Tom, Dick or Harry, or Harry, Tom or Dick, you know, with a song. And they were like trying to catch her attention, as you remember from the video from the song. She was a woman in power, empowered, loving herself, knowing that she deserves all the best, no more bedrooms. And those three men. Harry, Tom and Dick were literally fighting for her attention or his attention. Yeah, 2446 on the timer, you can check out this angel OT flame number. Yeah, gold and red. 
Your solar plexus and true chakras can also be quite strong even if you are a biological woman and this is what also attracts men because those chakras, those two chakras along with the sacral chakra are controlled by the divine masculine energy. Hmm. And here we have like orangey, so eating oranges, citruses, you may give them the vibes of summer, of oranges, citrus, a lemonade, a citronaut, you know, this can also, those, they, they can also be your fragrances and they love it, like you give them like freshness, refreshness, a new beginning. I like to spend time with you. Maybe there's such a song. I love to, I like to spend time with you. Time with you, time with you. I like to spend time with you. Or something in those lines. So there is like a song, you can check it out. Hmm. Yep, they adore you. You are beloved, you are admired. They want to win your heart. They want you to, to be able to catch your attention. Again, I heard, I think I said it in the beginning of the reading, attention seekers, they want to catch your attention. I'm seeing roses and a bouquet of roses. Asking you out this chivalry. To fight for your hand to be a certain gentleman. To fight for your hand to be a certain gentleman. Gentiloma. Gentilombre. And to ask for your hand or to win your hand. Yeah, literally whenever you go, you pass by, I'm seeing hands turning out to see you. I'm hearing, you know that meme when they were like talking, um, 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 okay, turn them head to see them, but not make it so obvious. And this meme usually has like medieval heads when they're like so twisted that if it was in the real life, they their snacks could have snapped, you know, but yeah, it's like, Oh look, there, there she is, there he is. Um, see them, but don't make it like too obvious, to you know, and they're like, Shh. yeah. Again with the sweat, with um, they are like drooling, wanting you, yeah. Okay, my lovers, I'm not getting anything else, so I'm going to leave your link right here. Yeah, somebody's name could really be Tom, and Tom and Jerry can be significant. So, or your name could be Dorothy, like Dorothy Inos, um, Dorothea, Dory, fighting Dory. So yeah, if the message resonated, please give me a like, comment down below and subscribe, and share this video for many future videos like this to help me grow and boost my channel. My name is Martin Clavion. I had the pleasure of being your person guy and reader for today. I wish you all the very best of luck. Write me down below how things are out for you. Don't forget that you can always book a personal link with me to get like more channel messages, information. And don't forget that um, I love you. Um, love yourself and until next time. And bye bye. <coughs> Salutations my lovelies for those who, for those who have chosen pound number two. This is your reading. If the lighting seems a bit changed, this is because I am recording several hours after I recorded pound number one and the intro. Um, I needed to like to take a stroll. So, let's see firstly with the Austro dice. Here we have your pre shuffled Oracle cards. I haven't seen them. We're going to see them later. And yeah, firstly, let's roll the Astro dice. Hmm. Aquarius. Hmm. 
Aquarius with Uranus in the in the 12th house for one and it was going to be the perfect score so somebody can be Aquarius in some moon rising or Venus the 12th house hmm. I've, I'm hearing that for you you are like a, a revolution revolutionary when it comes to spirituality so if you are like a spiritual person you may not be not not conventional oh what was the word like you're not like um the majority of um spiritual um, people let's say but in a good sense also since we have the um the runic tarot and the sogalite i'm going to see what it represented sogalite this is your stone. I'm getting that your power can be a bit like tomboyish. There is no shame in that. Yeah, they have very empowering energy. Let me just check. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so sorry for the crying baby. Magical properties. Generate positive energy to protect against and overcome negative emotions and situations. Lovely. Hmm. So now let's see with the tarot cards. To be honest, pal number two, I just saw an image of Warcraft and Angela Jolie, especially when she played Warcraft, which was her like big success on the big screen in 2001. Um, yeah, it was a lovely year. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone came down, came <coughs> came out in theaters then, Warcraft and I think other films. Star Wars The Phantom Menace, episode 1 as well, so yeah, sorry. Yeah, because I was trying to get your energy, so, as you know, with Warcraft, she is very feminine, she is very sexy, but at the same time, like, she really rocks, like, her pistols, her gear, like, even wearing, like, more tomboyish clothes. Not so much on, let's say, on makeup, on high heels, but nevertheless, when she puts on that high heel, so that dress, she's, like, stunning. She's gorgeous. So, hmm. Yeah, for the men who are, like, into women as you. Hmm. Sorry. Yeah, this is very alluring. It's I got an example with a fly and the Venus flight trap. So the Venus flight trap can be significant Venus. I'm your Venus, your greatest desire. But not in a bad sense. Hmm. Basically, you are like the Venus flight trap to the to the flies, like, the, and the flies being an example for the men. And if you're a man, so you can be more, more into the like feminine side. There is no judging. This is my example. You know, I'm uh, doing like fashion, skincare, hmm. But nevertheless, quite manly. So for both of you, I'm getting a very well balanced of divine feminine, divine masculine energy. And this is what attracts men because. At one part, especially if you're like into cars, um, video games, barbecues, shooting, you know, hunting, um, martial arts, you know, the main activities. You may, yeah, I just saw that example of a very sexy female gamer. So for the men, it's like not only like a lover like a romantic interest but also like a pal somebody with whom they can like play video games chat about cars you know go out for a beer yeah okay four cards please spirit how do men view pal number two also they feel it's like when they see you like how you are doing throughout the day, doing your tasks, whatever you're doing. 
the few motivated by you it's like if pound number two can do it or i just saw pound number two and now i throw up energy so especially if you're like some kind of an instructor a fitness yoga instructor reiki master okay we have the emperors to what i was saying the empress i forgot which was this um, nordic deity please excuse me i okay i can uh, grab the book for a bit to just read it so the empress this is venus venus fried up so many venuses there are no coincidences so libra and taurus yeah they see us this like very potent female character Definitely as the main of there was a slang, but what was the abbreviation and slang for the main character in a video game? Basically, you are the main character of a, of a video game. And we have Beltan, I think. Okay. Da Iline. Da Ili Da Iline. Da Iline. Okay, now we have the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but mostly Scorpio water signs, and we, and we see dolphins, so dolphins can be your spirit animal or a totem. Queen of Cups. Hmm. It's very interesting because on quite the contrary what I was telling about you, the energy, those cards are very feminine as energy. Hmm. Yeah, because Warcraft was very secure in her feminine energy. Now, she did not know how to cook or she did not wear dresses most of the time, but yeah, she may have had some insecurities about that, but I'm not getting the energy of she was like very depressed or I need to fix that. Hmm. They also see and feel that you're like quite nurturing. <laughs> Sorry, it's... I just heard that quote from Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix when Hermione taught Ron just because you have the emotional the emotional rage of a teen spoon the emo yeah there is a thing from spirit the emotional rage of a teen spoon but for you it's the opposite you have more than that yeah you have more emotions like your rage not rage your specter of emotions is very magnificent. It's very... Yeah, who is this? King of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, now somebody can... Now, regardless. So for little boys, they, they can see you as their, like, older sister. For others... But yeah, nevertheless, men see you as a person, let's say as a woman, or if you're a man, take it, who they can confide to, come for advice, that you're like very grounded, well-mannered, and we have the three of wands. Leo Sagittarius Aries, yeah. Something about your experience, you may be, <coughs> let's say you're only 20 years old, but you have a lot of experience, like physical or uh, not physical life yeah a broad experience <coughs> variety of what was the word let's say that you have a lot of experience in in your life this can also be coming from past lives they definitely feel that you are a person with whom they can like yeah what i told you I'm also getting for them that you are like some kind of a muse. So when they see you, when they think about you, they may create some type of an art, like a poem, poetry, music, songwriting, book writing. But nevertheless, as a muse, yeah, thank you, Spirit. There is, there is, is your, um, your sense, your, your confirmation from Spirit that or just motivating them to be better, to yeah, fulfill their goals, to go on that journey, to start that job, to start working out, to cut off the toxic relationships, karmics, you get me. Okay, one last card. 
Да я върна ли? Да или не? Да взема ли? Да. Да или не? Да или не? Да или не? Окей, okay, we have the full. Another major arcana. And I'm, and I'm going to read just in a bit from the guidebook. So, a new beginning. What I was telling you about. Take, setting off on adventure traveling. We have two major arcana cards. Two female and two male cards. Again with this balance of Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Energy, so whatever you're doing pile number two, there is your confirmation from Spirit, or you're going to <coughs> bless, you're doing amazing honey. Now I'm hearing what Professor Taroni was saying, sorry, I just need to um, blow my nose. My, my allergies kicked in again, my hay fever brought on your mind, so... Hmm. Yeah, they see you as an entrep entrepid explorer. Explorer. Now I got this image from Brambley Hedge with William Todd Flax because he wanted to be an intrepid explorer. So you may be into hiking, going into like into nature, mountains, kayak. I'm going kayaking with a kayak. What was this song? Do the, do the, gonna gonna rain the sun, all the do the day, all the do the day, na 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 na. You know that you might have been a, a camper, a girl scout, a, a boy scout, going down the stream or with the river. Yeah, they see you as very like adventurous. Okay, what I'm getting is a bit triggering, but I'm not telling you to hurt you or to, you know, this is not the point of the channel, but I heard that sometimes there may be miscommunication with them, especially if you don't know how to verbalize your emotions or what to say at the time. And I'm still maybe you know like panicking or thinking in your head, okay, oh god, what should, what should I say? What should I do? And I feel that they're a bit like disappointed because they want to keep <coughs> the conversation with you, but you reach like a certain point when it's like blocked. So cleansing your your throat chakra during like meditation work can also be beneficial. Now I heard resources, but I don't know. Also, 13.33 on the time, you can check out this angel or twin flame number. Now, let's see with your or oracle card. Oh, sorry. Before that, to read from the book. Because I'm going to forget. Now, the fool. The god Freyr. Can you see it? Yeah. The god Freyr walks through the fields in the ravine. Freyr does not have a sword and his sight. Love it in. So this is your god, Freyr, and the Empress is Frigg. The goddess Frigg sits the the rune Bercano at the center of the spinning wheel. A vac Kratos, a vacuum baby. So so yeah, you have Freyr. And freak of freedom. So you can use Google to get more information about those two um, deities. Okay, we have health with 71. Life path number 8, August. You may be born during August, the last digit of an important number. So they see you as like a very <coughs> healthy person full of vital force. So, like yeah, what I told you, going out jogging. Exercising, eating like healthy. You may be against smoking, which is a good thing. And I heard them like saying, but like I and, and, and I heard them saying, I like healthy women. Healthy looking, healthy, good looking women. 
who live like a healthy lifestyle, okay. Okay, this came very strong. I got like also confirmations at the back of my neck. If you are in a in a relationship, regardless of what is the relationship, let's say, and how they see you and how they feel is that it's not going to be a toxic relationship. Now, there may be some like karmic lessons, especially when this is an example with um, with person number A. You have agreed that you're going to have like a relationship to learn some lessons, you know, to fulfill some kind of a karmic lesson. Okay, whatever the case is. But nevertheless, it's not going to be an abusive, you know, toxic, like I'm suffocating type of a relationship. Even if you like break up, you drift apart, you set on your different ways, it's going to be like very amicable. I'm hearing them say thank you for everything which you have taught me, which you have shown to me. I'm also getting the energy from you like the, the older mature sister. Like the mature sister who is always there to help her little brother or sister or her siblings. Giving advice, is taking good care, like maybe like cooking, helping with the house chores, let's say, or homework, or people to feel their destiny, to find their, their way in the world, okay. Broken heart, this is interesting, with number 9. September, life path number 9. And the ninth day of... Oh, hmm. Health, broken heart. Your broken heart is... Hmm. Now, what they're like showing me, especially if you're like single, sometimes when you're like lonely or your energy just gives you this or you have some intrusive thoughts, <coughs> they may say to themselves like, look at that pretty girl or boy. Why are they like this? Has someone like broken their heart? Are they single? And it's mostly like because they feel it like energetically wise. But with the broken heart, I'm getting that your energy is quite gentle. It's very sweet to say so. I don't know for the men who see your vulnerability, the men to whom you show your vulnerability and see your heart, they're saying what a good heart, what a golden heart. Okay. Daumotev, Earth Spirit. So, okay, we have the Earth Spirit and I forgot what was the name of this. Cacti, I think it was my, maybe called Cacti, you know, the jars where they like put the organs. I just saw them two weeks ago in Vienna in a Tours Historischen Museum. Museum, okay, Earth Spirit. Hmm. I'm hearing, I'm hearing very down to girl, very down to earth type of guy, or like a very down to earth type of a girl. Wiser beyond your age, biological age. Somebody quite reasonable, adventurous, responsible, sexy as hell. Okay, some of the men really like this is a bit strange when personal, so take it if it's about you, if not, leave it. Some of them tell me that they love the core of your bra or the bras you are wearing, if you are a woman. No spirit showed me this scene from the Second Sex and the City film, which took place in Abu Dhabi when the girls were at the karaoke night out and they were like singing, I am a woman, hear me roar with the one, two, three or four. You get me, so you can play that song ag again. Okay, Antium's craft, so attraction. Antium's craft. Du ziehst romantische Liebe an, in dem du diesen Moment vorgenießt. So you are 
drawing a romantic, uh, a romantic life in which you are going to fully enjoy this moment so yeah attraction yeah this you are somebody like very attracting what I told you about very attracting very good very nourishing some of them may see you as as a poised person or they would like um, to pamper you please excuse me to spoil you to buy to you like certain gifts Freer i Frig It's funny because those two as how Freak is looking at the spinning wheel and Freer is going there, they're not looking but they remind me of the of those like statues or book holders when you actually put your books or you may be a book lover now I with that I saw Belle from Beauty and the Beast so they may see you as Belle like and if you're like into books into reading into knowledge they find this like very sexy about you your charisma is also quite special is what I'm hearing But yeah, I'm also hearing now for those of you who it resonates, somebody easy to talk to, somebody quite attractive, somebody who is not full of themselves. Somebody who who likes to pick up flowers and make bouquets maybe. I'm also hearing a gentle spirit. Okay, and now let's see with the last card. Goddess. Okay, and we have the Empress and Goddess, so you are a, a goddess. Honor your divine feminine energy. See your inner beauty. Love every part of you. What we were talking all, all along, and I shuffled the cards. You saw me, and I didn't saw th those two. So, yeah, the goddess. You are a goddess. They see you as a goddess. Regardless of your biological status, status, no, your biological gender. Hmm. Yeah, also with the Earth Spirit, like, yeah, quite nurturing, just with Mother Earth, <coughs> taking good care of people, mating broken hearts, mating bonds, being like a good listener and advisor. Not leading, not leading, not leading people astray. Always fighting the right answer. I'm channeling. Can spirit showed me like an an image? It's like in a store. And they're like those two men or one man and they see you pal number two. How to exp how to verbalize like if for the majority of women men rarely like go and talk to them, this is an example, or try to start a conversation with them. Which I'm getting the chances are very high, like when they when somebody sees you, mostly men or a woman. They want to start a conversation with you, to talk with you, to have a, a good chat is what I'm hearing. So you definitely motivate um, men to be more like active, proactive and to do something with their lives. Pay me attention. Pay attention to me. I'm hearing this was like a, a robot from the new series. Like, what's new Scooby do? Pay attention to me. Pay attention to me. Pay attention to me. So some may, may be like like this thing. Pay attention to me. Hmm. 
Definitely you I heard you caught you you catch them off guard and you influence them like they want to pay attention to you. Nešto drugo ima li tari ne? Ok, my lovers, I'm not sensing anything else. <laughs> I think we covered the majority of it. <laughs> so if you would like like more channel, to, <laughs> like a more personalized reading, more channel messages, you can do this via the, um, my email address down in the pin comment down below or the description box. So I'm going to leave your link right here. I hope that the message just resonated. If so, please give me a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And share this video for many feature views like this to help me grow and boost my channel. Um, my name is Martin Lukleviont. I had the pleasure being your personal no guide and reader for today. Write me down below how things are turning out for you. I wish you all the very best of luck. And don't forget that um, I love you. Um, love yourself. And until next time, um, bye bye. I'm um, salutations, my lovers. For those who have chosen power number three, this is your reading. If the scenery seems a bit changed, this is because not the scenery, the lighting is a bit changed. I'm just used to, I'm just used um, to saying scenery. This is because I'm recording several hours later for your pal. Now these are your oracle cards which were pre shuffled I haven't seen them. We're going to see them at the end. And before that, let's start with rolling the astral dice. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have the seventh house with Capricorn and the what is the south or the with the north node. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to say what I channeled. I heard a jock and a jock and a jock strap. So jock straps are usually worn by um gay men, especially um just probably you know what is a jock strap, so um, Google it or a joke. It's like a slang word if you're not familiar for a more like <coughs> Athletic man who is like into sports and If you like searching in um, um, In plus 18 sites if you type a joke, it's usually like a more muscle or buff young man so For those of you who are into such a man I'm feeling that they are feel attracted to you or a wish fulfillment like you are attracting such a man especially if you like a man who is into men and if you like a woman again you can you may be drawing you may be catching the attention of of jocks and some of them may be wearing jock straps Okay, this was interesting. Now the seventh house is ruled by Libra. The North Node, I think, yeah, and the and, and Capricorn. So somebody can be Capricorn in the Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. It's not necessary. Actually, just just give me one second to check the North Node. Yes, this is the North Node. <laughs> exactly. Hmm. They see you as a potential partner. I saw images like a romantic partner a professional partner because with Capricorn Capricorns like very stable very into work hard working and with a North Node it's giving me future like
And I'm hearing from spirit, like, sorry for being silent because I'm channeling. And from spirit, I'm hearing that you are sent here to show people that everything can change for the better, like being a bringer of miracles, you yourself being like a miracle. And seven is one of the most, and it's not the most magical number, so you're giving the vibes of somebody quite magical as well. And there is your confirmation from spirit. Now you pick this, let's say, strawberry quartz. It's not the same as a strawberry. I don't know. I just call it like that because I forgot. It's giving like peaceful energy, very romantical. Hmm. Sincere energy, sweet energy. So you may be into sweets, you may be working in a sweet shop, candy shop. Somebody's song can be candy shop by 50 cents. I'll take to the candy shop and I'll let you eat my lollipop. Okay. And now let's see that there are also 444 on the timer. You can check out this angel of flame number. And now let's see with the cards. Yeah. What can we expect? Mm -hmm. How do men see pound number three? Please, spirit. Hardworking, diligent, <coughs> a provider, sincere, <coughs> calm, tranquil, intrepid. Bright, full of ideas. I'm charismatic and and very hot. Okay, we have Diddy Coop, which is the Ten of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah. If uh, now I forgot to say when I'm using this deck, sometimes I say the name in French because I'm seeing the name in French and it's easier. So. They definitely see you as a marriage material, somebody with whom they can have a relationship and further grow their families or yours. Yeah, somebody quite caring, very charismatic, yeah, and nurturing. And sweet as well. There's something about sweetness, but... Okay, I'm seeing... Naru Chan from Sailor Moon, she was called Molly and she had a Brooklyn accent, I think, in the English dub of Sailor Moon. You remind me of her. Like, she was sweet, but not in a negative sense. Like, sweetness in a very charming way as well. Something about your smile, your humor, when you're like telling jokes. Make like how to say it, it makes you different, it makes you glow from the others. Okay, we have Guado Pentacle, which is the king of pentacles, Taurus, Vago, Capricorn, but mostly Taurus. Oh, gold and shiny. I love how the golden fall. Hmm. I'm hearing an excellent colleague if this is like job related. Somebody who is also trustworthy to be able to do business. But sometimes this is a bit triggering, but I told you I'm not sure to my readings, I'm not here to offend you. Sometimes stuck in their head. This is usually with the air signs, but here it's hmm, grounded but stuck in your head. Now you can also be like grounded. People are also like saying, man, sometimes you just need to loosen your grip. Don't be so stern, so... I'm getting the Four of Pentacles as an energy. Just loosen the grip, go with the flow, don't overthink everything. Yeah, overthinking, trying to provide maybe for your family. Just relax, enjoy your life. But yeah, on the other side of the coin, mature trustworthy a great business partner so you can also be like very good in business 
Okay, with the baton, which is the eight of wands, Leo Sagittarius Aries. Hmm. I'm hearing a very good listener communicating. You may be also very fast, like running fast, running errands. Also, I'm hearing overtasking, no, multitasking, overworking maybe. Especially if you're like a mother and you are at home. But it's like you have gotten so good with it that you just know how to proceed. Okay, I'm seeing this scene from Sing It 2, I think. <laughs> the animation with the animals. I haven't seen the two. I haven't seen any of the films yet. I know what it's about, but there was this clip with... I think she was called Stella. The pig. She was a mother. A mother of 15, 16 piglets. So she needed to go to this singing rehearsal to be a part of the show sing it and she she couldn't find in a short notice like a babysitter for her little one so she stayed up the, the whole night made this contraction so when they wake up it was like this train the train was like preparing them it had voice memos telling them what to do giving them like breakfast taking uh showing uh giving them like their school bags so I'm getting this image of Stella I think okay I call her Stella maybe her name is different or Pauline whatever there is so just type think it too and yeah the main pick character female so yeah very good and this is that I'm finding like attracting attractive also yeah especially if, if you if you i'm getting motherly energy or you are a mother again this is for them like very sweet very sexy okay one more card please spirit and we have several cards da irine one more happy spirit from my love is for pal number three okay thank you and just give me one second I need to blow my nose my allergies kicked in again it's very annoying I know <laughs> La Fox okay strength with Leo so you may be Leo's I just noticed the infinity sign so, okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, those are a big, big. <laughs> Not only physically strong, but mentally strong, emotionally strong. You can calm the beast, like literally how the the card of the strength is being represented here. Also with the seventh house, which is ruled by Libra. This is an example. Get the energy of the five of wands. There is some quarrel. There's some people squabbling, arguing, maybe at your desk, like in your job. And you're just like, please people, stay calm. Let's talk things over. What's the problem? Please tell to me the both sides, you know, like being like this. I'm a bitter. Hmm. Yeah, also they see you wiser than your age as well. Like a very empowered female character. Now if you're if you are a man, empowered man, male character. You're always there to lend a hand. You're always there to give a clue. You're always there to make somebody you're always there to make somebody glee. You're always there to make somebody good. Because you are the jewelry of our crew or something in those lines. So I wouldn't be surprised if some of them are like writing poetry, you are being amused to them when they're like creating arts and crafts. 
Okay, yeah. Now, let's see with your Oracle cards. Individuality with 11, so 11, 11. You may be born during November. Life path number 11, a master number, or life path number one. So they see you as like a very individual person. Yeah, also somebody who can provide for themselves, be okay alone, not fearing, how to say it? Um, you know, there are some types of men and women who are so afraid, like with abandonment issues, who are like literally jumping from one relationship to another. They literally cannot stay single or alone for a long time. And nevertheless, if the relationship is not the very best for them, they're like jumping and no, I'm not getting this from you. I'm seeing a very strong independent businesswoman, is what Spirit showed me. So for some men, this is like very sexy, very empowering. Okay, for some of them, they may not verbalize this to you. They might not, they might not say it because like we are men and ego and you know, you know, but nevertheless, this is what I'm feeling like. Like pound number three is so amazing. Like she's so individual. She can hold on herself. She can fend for herself very well, especially if you like a warrior, an attorney, a judge, okay. Door to spirit with 32, okay, somebody can be 32 years old. I know that I'll be in one month and, and a half, I'm going to be, I'm 32 years old, can you imagine? So, life path number five as well, M May as a month. Door to spirit, they see you as quite spiritual, nevertheless if you feel it or not. It's funny because this door reminds me of ancient Egypt, nevertheless it's not. Funnily, the next card is based on ancient Egypt with the gods. And we see the white dove, so the white dove is a symbol of Aphrodite Venus, so you may be working with her, you may be um, very beautiful inside and inside and outside out but it's like you give them like hope you give them creativity you give them love this also see you as a very virtuous person now what about your aura i'm seeing purple pink yellow white you know, aura changes its colors, but this is what I'm seeing for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I trust worthy again. So now let's see with the other cards. And energy healing, okay, with number two. February number two, Ankh. I have an Ankh. The Cross of Life. I forgot. Of Ra, I think. Yeah, your energy is quite healing for them as well. Vitality Force. Power Rangers Mystic Force. You might be a fan, you might have been a fan of Power Rangers, especially Mystic Force. It was quite popular in the early 2000s. <laughs> I remember it being aired on Fox Kids, if I'm not mistaken, or Jetix. Hmm. Yeah, full of energy. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. Even if you feel like so tired and you are not in your best condition, they see you as somebody with who is full of energy, full of surprises, full of life, full of love. There is your confirmation. Also being able to point people to the right direction. So I will not be surprised if you like a light worker, a star seed, a tarot reader.
I'm hearing somebody say I can trust plan number three with, with the information. So you may be a journalist in your office, like in your job field, like, or even your friend group. I trust plan number three with this mission or the the information. Plan number three has never led us astray. So now it's you with how they see you like love and romantic wise wise. A huge desire to kiss you, to hug you. Especially I saw the scene in an elevator. So somebody from your office has not only professional but let's say not only professional but also amicable and romantic feelings towards you. Sorry, I was looking for a word. Hmm. There is something about buying gifts, chivalry. There's something about gossip, so they enjoy the gossip you are making. Or they know that if they have gossip, you are going to listen to them because you are a very um, good listener. Okay. Zillingefart, okay, we had this card exactly in pound number one, so this also some of them or they see you as their soulmate. Zillingefart, yeah, this is thine Zillingefart, yes, this is your soulmate. So they definitely see you as their soulmate. Now, soulmate, I forgot to say, it's, if you know well, soulmate, it's not only about the romantic cycle. So mates can also be like very good friends, somebody with whom you feel happy, they're part of your soul family, star family. Hmm. Which is a good thing, like I heard it and got it, like have you don't know how many heart emptied people I have seen, but pound number three is so different. They're so full of love, so strong, independent, individual. Spiritual, amazing. Hmm. Just drink some, some water. You also make them feel happy, feel secured. I think I am repeating myself, but... I'm getting also they feel that they have a huge chance with you, like romantic-wise, amical-wise. Sorry, I'm channeling and trying to get like more messages, something new. Something about mushrooms and picking mushrooms. I heard somebody saying I gave up on the mushrooms thanks to you. I'm so happy, thank you. Okay. Hmm. I saw a image of Little Red Riding Hood. So this could have been your favorite fairy tale dares. You might have play to Little Red Riding Hood or they have a fantasy in which they put you like the Little Red Riding Hood even if you are a man hmm. and somebody wants to be the big bad wolf you know talking about plus 18 stuff here hmm. Now, I have made plus 18 videos, you can go out in my profile and find something if, you, if you're guided to catch your attention, but there is something about that they want you to show you, to show you their mouth, what they can put in their mouth, or they want to see what you can put in your mouth, okay? Because you know how it goes the story. My grandma, you have such big teeth, you have... You have such big mouth, you have such big ears, you know. 
and now I heard it like a bit change just for the better to taste you okay with licking more okay let's see the last card courage okay courage you're safe fear is an illusion set strong boundaries and boundaries and we have Leo as well with strength courage like a very courageous also a friend of animals think about building animal shelters being into nature being a daughter or, or a son of nature if you are like delivering messages like especially if this is an example two of your friends have feelings for each other but they're too scared to open to, to one another to share them and then you act like the messenger like the owl like in Harry Potter and they appreciate this about you they really love it helping people to connect yeah to heal especially if you like into healing Reiki hmm. Verdadura Verdadura Por que estoy escuchando verdadura? ¿Qué significa esto? ¿Por qué pal número 3? Quiero comer verdadura. Varias varias saladas. La comida más sana. Más nutriente. Alguna, alguna cosa más fácil a cocinar? Okay, I don't know why I started like speaking in Spanish, so you may be Latino, of, Sp of Spanish origin, Latino. You may be a Spanish speaker or wearing Spanish. Something about eating salads and... Somebody wants to take you like to a salad bar. Hmm. Also, when they're like near your energy, this green card like, like gave me the vibes of a heart chakra and with the others they feel like safe next to you they feel happy next to you they feel at ease next to you i think we covered this let me just check any other messages also that you are um reliable i don't know if i said it if not please excuse me if I have, please excuse me. I'm hearing seagulls. Now, it's funny because in Sofia we have seen seagulls. We are literally kilometers away from the sea. Like from White Sea and Black Sea. But we have seagulls and now I'm hearing seagulls and it's like very... You can check out... what. Let me just check what is the spiritual meaning of a seagull. I don't know. See, go spiritual meaning. Cunning, perseverance, fearlessness, survival, and freedom. Okay. So the seagull can be your 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 animal totem, your spirit guide, your spirit animal. You may dream or see seagulls. There you have it. Da ine. Drugi su pošteni mali da ine. Okay, my love is. Okay, if somebody wears green and loves green, men love this about you. It really um, suits you as a color. If if it if it doesn't, please discard it. So I'm going to leave your link right here. I hope that the message resonated. If so, please give me a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and help me um, to help me boost and grow my channel. My name is Martin Luklevion. I had the pleasure of being your person guide and reader for today. I'm wishing all the very best of luck. Write me down below how things are turning out for you. Don't forget that you can always book a personal Norin with me to get like more personalized messages channeling. You get me? And don't forget that, that um, I love you. Love yourself. And until next time. And bye bye.